got about four fish earlier in the day using a fly rod. We're here on one of the many lakes that are in northern Labrador and we're staying at the Flowers River Lodge. And I just tried casting an ultralight with light line and a small Panther Martin spinner. And these char, they're wild, but they'll come up and look at the lures just like they did the flies and not hit them. And this one I saw come up and it grabbed it. It's a beautiful sight. Come on over here. Now, you know, when it comes to cold water fish, like brook trout, rainbow trout, and also lake trout, for some reason they love spinners. And I think ever since I was about 12, I started using Panther Martin spinners, and they produce fish. See if I can get my foot to catch there. That's a nice char. That fish will go about, I'd say, three to four pounds. Very long. You can see that spinner is just in the roof of the mouth. You can see that little bit of orange. The nice thing about hemostats is, that they'll actually lock. So there, the hook is out. Let me just extend this nice plump char out. I'd say that's about a three and a half pound fish. Quite long, but that fish is about 16 inches long. That a pretty char right here from Northern Labrador, Flowers River Lodge. I've been told that on the main river you can get hundreds of these in a one week stay. Okay, let's see it go. There it goes. Now, when it comes to catching fish, especially when the water's clear like it is here, I think it's actually better to start off with a small spinner. I've got a few sizes of Panther Martins. This particular one is a number four, and you can see that it's quite small. When this spinner's going through the water, that blade produces so much flash, and the spinner is right on the actual shaft of the spinner. So you can get a very erratic action when that blade is going around. And you can see that this one has a little bit of hackle, just enough orange as an attractor when that fish comes by.